Welcome back, guys. Are you ready for some more Railway Empire? Because I know I am. We are going to move on to the next chapter of the campaign. In the first chapter, we were in the Great Plains in 1863. We're actually going back in time to the early days, 1830, the very earliest days of uh, rail in the United States. Uh, here we go. It's all about the modest beginnings of your railroads. And basically, we're, we're building out to the west towards the Great Lakes. We start off with two million in cash. We start in the city of Baltimore. We've got two AI competitors. Should make things fun. And we're playing on realistic, which means we have to put in our own signaling and stuff. Right. Meticulous planning, tables, figures, and hard facts. Thank you, Roger. Uh, we're going to change this. I'm going to change the name to, to Sky, just so that we know who's who. The name of the company is the Baltimore and Ohio, the B&O. It's funny, I actually know a fair amount of this because of the, 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 the Boswash series. Right, uh, there's a bit of a cutscene and then a bit of yak coming up. In 1830, the prosperous industrial centers on the east coast of the United States of America were poorly connected to the mainland. Insufficiently developed toll roads and slow ship canals were the only options when making long journeys. Farmers, businessmen, and travelers lamented these long, arduous, and above all, unsafe transport routes. They were not only an inconvenience for travelers, but also shackles on an emergent nation's hunger to grow. But at this time, a development from England was taking its first steps and helped keep alive the hope of many cities in the east of reaching greater economic influence and growth. I've been waiting for you. I'm Philip Evan Thomas. It's always been my dream to build a railroad to the Ohio River and beyond. That would help everyone, both the settlers and the natives. And I need your help with that. First of all, I have two tasks for you in order to build a base from where we can monitor further activities. But as I learned back when I was a bank clerk, the books must always balance. So take care to make a profit, even with these preliminary assignments. Right, thank you for that, Phil. Right, we're going to pop in a small station in Washington. Uh, to get things moving. Now, as soon as I start doing this, our, our two competitors are going to start introducing themselves. So, yeah, they're, and they're, they're a bit, they're a bit talkative. So, if they if that starts, then I'm just going to carry on and get building because there's quite a lot of do, lot to do. Right. So we're going to hook that up to uh, to Baltimore. I'm also going to pop a couple of stations up here. Now, um, we've got four. Well, there's another one up there, but I'm going to focus on these four farms out here. We've got cows, we've got um, vegetables, we've got milk, and we've got wheat. All of which are required, I think, in Baltimore. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a look and see what they want. Uh, wheat, yes, they want wheat. They want uh, cattle, they want corn. Uh, yes, they want vegetables. They also want fruit, and yes, they want milk. So hooking up all of those would be a good thing. So I'm going to grab... Uh, now, unfortunately, a regular train station just won't quite link them together. So we're going to have to use large train stations. But I think it's worth the investment. Um, let's see. We want to come down to here. So I think we'll probably angle it kind of like that. So, boom, in that goes. That one goes. That one, Lopez Farm. And then this one's going to go in, I suppose we're going to angle this more down to there. Uh, so this one's going to go in. Uh, well, we're going to have to go up to New York at some point, which is Don Lorenzo's territory, as he will make very clear. Uh, but let's, let's angle it like that, I think. There we go. Okay, right, let's start getting some tracks in. Right, Washington. We will pop in a track from here to, let's see, now how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to go into, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into this track here. Now we're going to be sharing this platform, but I think it'll work out in the long run. So what do I want? I want, oh, take that. This new fish oh, swimming in our pond. Greetings from the beautiful city of Charlotte. What was your name again? Beautiful stranger, wasn't it? Well, that's what you look like. Just let me know if you need help. 
push starting your trains. She actually looks like she could push start a train. She's a bit of a saucy trollop, isn't she? Hey, beautiful stranger. What's all that about? Uh, let's Look, go to building clear. construction and we'll put in a supply tower here. Strangers. Some of my best friends are strangers. But you're not from here. And New York is my city. That's where I do business. I say when the trains roll, where they're going, and why. As long as you don't get in my way, everything will be A-OK -okay between us. Thank you, Don Lorenzo. And now Phil is going to um, have a bit of a chat with us as well. I see our two competitors have introduced themselves to you. They have different approaches and so will behave differently. Basically, however, they want to expand their rail networks and make a profit just like you do. So stay on guard and don't let them take advantage of you. We'll do our best, Phil. Thanks for the advice. Now, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about this, because this, this I've got to say, I find slightly annoying. If I put um, a track going out there like that, and by that, and then I put another one in next to it. Oh, come on, there. And by that. Right, this creates a bridge with two tracks, right, side by side. Wonderful, excellent. Right, right well, we want another one. But if I try and put in another one, it won't do it. You can only have tracks too wide. So, geez, I gotta say, it's a bit of a nuisance. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this track out here like this, um, to about there. And then I'm gonna bring it, uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring it back in like that. And why, oh, oh, come on. Doesn't like that. Really? Uh, okay, let's bin that. Let's try it. No, seriously? You, you won't go across there? Oh, come on. What about if I put... Oh, man. It won't, doesn't... Oh, okay. We've got to come out. I guess we've got to come out a bit further. All right, let's come out to there. And then, again, we'll hook back up to there. Like... Whoops. Ah! <laughs> um... I need to cancel that. There we go. And extend that out like that. Now, I'll explain why I'm doing this in a second. I just want to get the darn thing in first. So let's pop... Ah. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Let's try it again. So you're going to come out. I want this as close as we can get it, really. So there. Okay, so that's going to come out to there. Then back into there and up to there. And bite. Thank you. Then we'll put this alongside, which it will do because there's only two of them now, so that's fine. Then we'll go around the corner up to there. And get rid of that and buy it. Right, why am I doing this? Well, it's because I want these tracks to all share a building, and that building is the supply tower. And if I put that in here, you can see it covers all four tracks, which saves us a little bit of money compared to uh, putting them like individuals on individual tracks. So it's about 90,000 in actual fact. So right, having done that, we're gonna hook these, these stations up. So I wanna go from here to this farm over here. So let's hook you up like that. And then, now this is actually pretty good. It, it tells you exactly how the cost is broken up. And you can see that we're spending the majority of the money on tunnels. Well, if we move this so that we're not making tunnels, right, see, I'm not making tunnels anymore. Suddenly, this is only costing me um, 60,000. Now, you need to just, just make sure that your inclines are okay. Um, and I could, pr I don't know, if I move this, I might be able to, Change this. No, I don't think I'm going to get... Oh, oh, one and one. That's even better. 68, 69,000. Yeah, we'll take that. Right, boom. That's that one in. And then I'm also going to run... Now, I've connected up all four. Um, I want one... Actually, I want both of the middle lines to go up to New York. So I'm going to have this line going up to this farm. Um, let's hook you up to there, I think. Right. How much is that? That's 47. There's no tunnels and bridges. Whoops. Uh, why wasn't... Why, why? Oh. It's got a fussy bit. It's got a fussy bit down here. Uh, let's just move you. 
out of the way a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the incline's not good though, so let's try and balance out that incline. Um, well, we can get it to two. That's the best I think we're going to get. It's going to cost us forty-five. The that's a fine. City gets, the greater its demands get too. At some point, the goods from the immediate area will no longer be enough. That's where the railroad comes in handy. Now select Baltimore to take a closer look at the city. Before we go and look at Baltimore, I'm going to get these lines set up. So we want that farm coming into Baltimore. Uh, we'll have it set to automatic and set up a grasshopper. Cool. And then if we go over here, we want another one. We want from Collins, es Collins Estate into Baltimore. And uh, now you can, I could change this. I could set it to like whatever I want, but I'm going to run this on automatic. Boom, off you go, add a locomotive. And we were using these little grasshoppers, which only can only go to 15 miles an hour. Very early days of, of steam. I mean, it's not even like, like I mean, it doesn't even look like a proper locomotive. It's just this weird little thing. Now, if you want to see the trains like in, in better detail, if you go up here uh, to the engine shed, this is the grasshopper. As you can see, it's, it's like, it couldn't be more basic than that, could it? Awesome. Love it. All right, let's get out of there. Okay, so um, what else? I've, I've put in a, a maintenance shed in Baltimore. Now, all of our trains are going via Baltimore, so they can all be maintained there. I've got, uh, I've got a supply a supply build, a supply tower there. Um, these are all covered by these supply towers here. So everything's pretty cool. So we've linked up. Um, these four farms and that so task wise yes we've completed everything so now I think um, yeah now I think we'll click on Baltimore and go to the next stage Baltimore where the headquarters of our firms located has a large clothing industry the city therefore needs a constant supply of fabrics in New York on the other hand the fashion conscious customers are waiting for deliveries of ready tailored goods Thank Their you, rail Phil. Line between Baltimore and New York, so that the clothing produced in Baltimore can be delivered to New York. He wasn't finished. Are you finished now? Thank you. I wish I wish they wouldn't leave long pauses in between. Right. So now we've got a link up to New York. Oh, now look at this. Don Lorenzo in in New York has put a line down here. So we're up against competition, and he will start basically uh, nicking stuff from us because. The, these farms produce the same amount. Now, before, we were getting it all going on our train, but now it's going to be split between us and Don Lorenzo. So he's, um, yeah, he's eating into our profits. So what we want to do is put a station up here. So uh, what do I want? I'm just going to put a small train station in, I think. Now, I could link up to Albany if I wanted to. Um, I might do that, actually. I'm going, to put in a, I'm going to put in a medium one, then. So let's flip you around this way. Um, let's have you, well, I guess that, let's just, I don't know, let's just have you like that. What are you doing right in the with station here? I'm already here. Shush, Don Lorenzo, We're, you've got competition. Right, so this line is going to go all the way down and link into it now. Um, I said I wanted two lines, didn't I? I did. So this is going to link into this side. Because what I would like to do is have one line for uh, for freight and one line for express goods. Um, now I could do it with one line and passing places, which if I which I probably will do, but I wouldn't want to just give myself the flexibility. So uh, how are we going to do this? This is going to cost us six hundred thousand as it as it's set up at the moment, but that's because we've got this huge, enormous, great long bridge. Well, we don't want that. So what we want is for this to be coming round here keep the incline at zero we'll have a bridge cross there uh, but then we've got all of these nasty tunnels which we don't want so what about if we bring this out over this side uh, try and keep the incline down and then 
What about if we move this round here? Okay, that gives us an incline of 2%. That's bearable. 1%, 1%. And now this is only costing us 300,000, which is pretty good. Now, I could try and shorten this bridge a little bit. Um, and just looking at this, if we, I don't know, if maybe if we came across a bit quicker, we could, uh, we could maybe cut the, what did I say? We, we were up around like 280, 290 or something. If we come round like that and bring this in just a touch 240 250 245 uh, we're at 1% 1% 0 uh, um, yeah I don't think we're gonna make that bridge mm, that much smaller than it is now so I think that's about as good as we can do. I don't know. I mean, if I moved it a little bit further over here, we, it might get a bit cheaper. Um, let's, let's just try. So if we bring it over there. Oh, 234. And maybe... Oh. No, I don't think we're going to get it much cheaper than that. Let's take that out again. 234. It looks like 234 is the best we could do, guys. So let's accept that. Buy it. Put it in. Now, do I want to put uh, a second train, run two trains up and down to New York? Um, boom, 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 boom. If I see, if I want to run an express uh, and and a freight, then I want two different lines because the 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 freight trains will slow down the passenger trains, and that's not good. I think for now we'll just put like pop one train on. Oh. Baltimore turns its back. Reporter exposes grievances. Some bad press. Oh, bad press? Who reads the papers these days anyway? Yeah, now I don't know whether that's actually sabotage. We'll be talking about sabotage later. I don't know whether that's actually sabotage or whether that's just like a, an event in the game. So, right, well, I want to put in a new train. So let's get um, from New York to Baltimore. Boom. Um, yeah, we'll just run an automatic one for now, I think. Yeah, we'll just run an automatic one. Add a loco, grasshopper, boom. Right, at this point, we I'll need to start... Uh, with your responsibilities. Thank you, Phil. Stay alert. I will check on your progress from time to time. Good, yeah. You go off, have a cup of tea and a rest. Let's go and look at our task. So, we've got to connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Deliver ten loads of wool to Pittsburgh so that they can make clothes. Um... Uh, sorry, sorry so, so they can weave um, cloth and then send it to uh, Baltimore. And then Baltimore can make the clothes and then we ship the clothes to New York. That's the plan. Uh, what was I going to look at? I was going to look at something. I can't remember what the hell it was now. <laughs> no, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I think it was to do with... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to look at this. Okay, every now you'll get auctions of technology. Um, we will see if we can buy this. Leaf spring suspension. Is anybody going to try and outbid us? Doesn't look like it. Boom. Say, we got it. A bit slow. I have already bid. Right. So that's um, leaf. This is leaf spring suspension. This increases the number of passengers in every city where your company has a station by ten percent. Now there are two um, technologies here which are really worth getting early on. This one um, improves your um, your freight fees by ten percent. Uh, which is a fair amount so we definitely want that that only leaves us with 60 points the next thing we'll get is um is this one the covered cap which increases profits from transported mail by 10 percent which would be a very nice one to get all righty so um what are we gonna do next i'm just wondering about putting a second line in and having a an express route to new york i think you know what i think we're gonna do it i think we're gonna do it i guess Mainly, more because I just feel like doing it than any other reason. So, let's put that up to there. It's only going to cost me 148000 So, boom, that's in. Uh, we will get a new train, set up a line. Uh, actually, this is good because it will show me, it, uh, allow me to show you how you put in um, multiple lines. So, when I click on this, right... It's going to try and put it on the same track that we had it before, right? But if I go over here and edit the station, I can tell it to put it on 
track one uh, and move it. So they're now on different tracks. So um, we'll save that. We need to add a locomotive. We'll pop on the grasshopper. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, what I forgot to do uh, was to make this one a... Not manual. I want this as an express goods only. We'll leave the other one as automatic. So this one is only going to carry express goods, which is passengers and mail. All right, and then we can have a look at all of our lines. So we've got New York, Baltimore. This is the automatic one. And then we've got New York, Baltimore. And this is the express goods one. So let's have a, let's have a little look at you. It's a long way. It's a long way from New York. Now, if we go into, into Managed Train, you can actually see over here the, uh, the sand, the oil, and the water that they use. And these will go down over time, and every so often they need to stop at one of those supply towers and top these three things up. Okay, cool. Right, we've got 600,000 left. What, what do we need to do next? We need to connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Now, let me tell you, connecting Baltimore and Pittsburgh is going to cost some money. Um, so I think... We'll try and get a bit more money coming in by hooking up to Albany. So let's put in, let's see, I think just a small station. Flip you around. Put you in One there. thing is clear. Either the station goes or you do. <laughs> He's not happy. He's not happy that we're competing with him. Now, wait, sorry, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter which one I put this uh, onto. Um, now, let's see. If we put this somewhere down here, what's that? Okay, so that's zero. And then this needs to just... Yeah, I don't want that bridge, so we want to come out a little bit further. Oops, I didn't want that one. I want that one to come a little bit further out. So zero, zero, zero. So it's all nice and flat. That's going to cost us... That's only going to cost us 74,000. That's pretty good, actually. Let's bring it in a tiny bit. Straighten that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's take that. Buy that. And we'll put... Uh, what am I doing? Um, I'm building, putting a new train in. So, from New York... Oops. Try that again. Set up line. From New York to Albany. Boom. And, yeah, add a locomotive. Grasshopper. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Oh, shush, woman. For heaven's sake. Right, now now that we've got that, that train in, um, let's have a look at our research. We got Yes, we've got over 100. So we can now uh, get the covered cab, which will give us a bit more cash, 10% more cash from our mail that we're transferring. Now, the next one we're going to get is our first train upgrade. Can't wait to get that. That's going to be cool. Right, we've got 500,000 left. What's the next job? Connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Okay, well, Pittsburgh is over here, and we've got a bit of an issue. And what I love is the realism, because this is really the problem that they face. Let's get rid of this, and we'll get rid of that. Uh, and that's this mountain range. Right, now, um, uh, you know what? I, uh, in the middle, I don't know what this is. Further up, this is the, um, the Appalachians. Um, further down, it's the Blue Ridge Mountains uh, in Virginia. Um, this middle section, I don't know, is this, is this still the Appalachians? I don't know. I don't know. But it's, um, it's a big, I mean, it really is a big lot of mountains. And to get through this was very, very difficult. And we face the same problem. So we're going to be running a track from, from here all the way out to Pittsburgh. Okay, let's put in... A train station. Now we're gonna have to have two platforms because we're gonna have to get some wool from somewhere, which is here. And you can see these little markers showing you. So we want to get the wool from here. If you transport the clothing from Baltimore with your rail line, you will be making a considerable contribution to the growth of the industry. Everyone profits from that. Um, I think we want to spin this around a little bit, like that so we pop that in there and we'll put a small train station over uh, i guess we'll go in from this direction so we'll put this over here like this boom cool excellent 
You could hire train crews in the staff dialogue window. Then you'll need to view the train details of the selected train to assign the staff to it. Now open the train details of your most important train and assign an engineer and a stoker to it. Right, our most important train, probably the New York Express route. So let's see, New York Express route is, I think this one, is this the New York Express route? Yes, this is the New York Express route. So let's go to manage train. We want to hire an engineer and a stoker. Train so stand still, they lose your money. And I think that's a good thing. This guy is going to reduce maintenance requirements by 20%. Uh, this guy, same thing, and this guy, same thing, and this one is increase the speed by 5%. I think we're actually going to go for reliability. So, I'm going to pull in you. Now, when we put the stoker in, if we select one of these stokers, if there's a conflict between them, because they, they have these personality traits, if there's a conflict, well, there's no conflicts with these, but they'd show up with sad faces, and if they've got complementary personalities they'll actually get happy faces happy faces and they'll, uh, they'll actually work better together so uh, let's see you give us five percent to max speed so to you so to you it doesn't matter we'll hire we'll hire you right done and we can also bring in a conductor if we want um, so oh, uh, Skylar yes definitely want you you gave us a 10% profit on mail which is perfect on this route because we're hire we're we're shipping loads of mail on this route. Cool. You don't have first call on cities, farms, or mines. Of course, your transport income will fall if your competitors connect these to their rail networks. Thank you for that, Phil. Tracks, locomotives, buildings, and cash all increase the value of your company. And the higher this is, the higher the price of your company stocks. Thank you. Right, now we can afford to get our first train upgrade. So, the John Bull. Let's this grab the John Bull. reminds me of my grandmother. Worn out and slow. Just as other companies <laughs> buy stocks from you, you were able to buy some from them. If you do that, you will profit from the success of your competitors. You should buy stocks via the company dialog window now. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go to the engine shed and look at our new locomotive. Now, we haven't got the John Hancock yet. This is the John Bull. And as you can see, this is, this is like a proper train. Well, like getting closer to a proper train. So, yeah. Now, if we wanted to, we could upgrade all of our current locomotives. It's going to cost us 175000 to do that. But I think that's worth doing. So, boom, we're going to do that. Right, that's just upgraded all of our trains to the John Ball. Sweet. Faster and faster all the time. That has oh. nothing to do with traveling in style. Cool. The uh, the John Ball has been in successful operation. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, good. All right, I'm just looking to see. Yeah, here's a, here's a John Ball on the New York Albany run. Awesome. Um, I wonder if we could get uh, somebody who could boost our mail. Ah, here we go. And just smooth loading increases profit for transportation of mail by 10%. Let's get him on there. We've got another one as well. So if we go to... We've got the fastest train. The John Ball hits 21 miles an hour. Incredible. Um, I'm going to go to the train list. I'm going to go to our Washington Baltimore train. Because that's shipping a lot of mail. And manage the train, get a conductor, and did I did I not hire the other one? I don't think I hired the other one, did I? I can't remember now. It's got, um, it was the New York Albany, wasn't it? Let's see. Oh, no, I did hire him. Okay, so we got we got another one. Have we got another? One? Yeah, we've got a new applicant, a stoker. Give us a five percent speed boost. Um, what would be a good train to have that one? I don't know. Probably. Well, the New York one, we've already got a stoker on, haven't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, we've... Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, no, well, let's get let's get you on here. Oh, no, these are these are the ones who are already working for us. Oh, no, yeah, no, this is the new one. This is the new one, new applicant. So, let, yeah, let's hire you onto that train. Boom. Cool. Oh, man. 
Baltimore. The John Ball hits 24 miles an hour. Excellent. Right, we're up to 600,000. I'm going to crank this up a little bit, I think. Because um, we need some cash coming in. And we're going to look at the stocks now. So, if we go to here, we can see the stocks of our competition. Now, Don Lorenzo, his companies were 677,000. So, if we go to here, we can buy some of his shares. How much have you... Now, I could buy like 50% of his shares, like right now. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do that. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm really tempted to just buy him out completely, but we'll, we'll start off with 50%. You in your competitor, you can merge with them and incorporate their roots and buildings with yours. Your competitor will then be out of business for good. How much is it going to cost? We Go need... Go on, grab it. This increases the price of my fast trains. One of uh, your trains isn't doing what shush. it should be doing. <laughs> for goodness sake. They do talk a lot, don't they? Um, if we could buy the rest of the company for like 600000 uh, and basically put him out of business, which this I'm kind of tempted just to between do. Us, as it's, well, not entirely legal. But we need to keep all of our options open. A saboteur has applied for a job with you. If you send him to one of your competitors, he will make trouble for them. This can also cause their stock price to fall. Baltimore okay. Baltimore is growing and thriving. That is mainly thanks to the railroad that you build. Well done. Thank you, you Don. Have you finished? You don't have to deploy saboteurs to do better than your competitors. You could deal with them in a more classy and legal way. Take a look at which routes are more lucrative and will ensure you become the most important transporter there. Right, we're going to use this. Isn't doing what it should <laughs> be doing. Shush. Yeah, thank you. We're going to hire this saboteur and we're going to get him to uh, sabotage the train station at Charlotte. Um, yeah. So, go. Um, there's an au oh, there, there was an auction on for the uh, John Hancock technology, but we're not interested in that because we've got way, a better train than that anyway. The Don Lorenzo, is a bit of a gang boss. You can imagine that he has good connections to bandits and saboteurs. So it's much easier for him to deploy such characters. Thank you for that. You unbelievable rascal! <laughs> yes, I think our saboteur did something. Let's see, let's go down. Where are we? Charlotte. Yes, sabotage. But it doesn't, it, does, it kind of doesn't tell us like you what the actual... You should have most important aspects of your position by now. I'll let you get on with your responsibilities. Okay, thank Stay you. Stay alert. I will check on your progress from time to time. Okay, so we uh, we need to crack on because we need to connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh by the end of this year. And we need to deliver 10 loads of wool to Pittsburgh uh, by the next year. So, uh, now I did put um, I did put that in. So we could get that right. You know, I'm going to get that in because that will probably start getting us a bit more money. And I don't think it's going to cost a lot to hook this up. So let's hook that up to there. It only costs us 50000 Boom, and then we'll get train running from. Come on, set up the line. Wilson Farm to Pittsburgh. Yes, add locomotive. We you want a really jump ball. You should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Yes, whatever. Right. Uh, on that subject, we're gonna need to put in a supply tower for this train. So we'll just pop that in there, and we are gonna need some maintenance. So we're going to have to buy a maintenance shed on any, and that's expensive. That's uh, like 80,000, but needs to be done. So that's that. Next, let's see how much it's going to cost to hook up this track to, um, to Baltimore. Now, there is one thing I do need to change, because I've got, I've got this track going into this station here. Uh, sorry, sorry, I've got this line going into this track here, and I don't want it going into that track. I want it to go into the ne the one next to it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up the bulldozer. I'm going to hold down the shift key, chop the track, and get rid of... Well, get rid of that bit of track, and then put it back in and link it up to that one this time. Boom. Then we'll run from there. 
out to Pittsburgh. Where's Pittsburgh? Here's Pittsburgh. Now, this is going to cost... Okay. <laughs> so, first estimate, one and a half million. What can we do? Now, the cost of this is all in the tunnels. So, what we want is a much shorter tunnel. So, if we... Now, this mountain range, if you have a look, this mountain range runs all the way down here. Right, so there's kind of no getting around it. We are going to have to have a tunnel. The question is, how long is that tunnel? And you can see that rather than just going like across here, we're going like all the way across there. So if we just dragged it, look, if we just drag this, why won't you, why won't you drag? There we go. If we just drag this across like here. Okay, well that's already got us down to like 900,000. That saved us half a million straight away. And did it, did it, did it. We've still got that tunnel. We're at 2%. That's 2%. That's not tunnels. Um, we're not spending that much on earthworks. Now, we have got a fairly long bridge here, but I don't think that's really the worst thing in the world. Uh, if I drop this down to... Oh, right. That gets me down to zero. Then we don't have that great big bridge. So that gets us down to 885,000 is even better but we're spending 70,000 on earthworks I'm thinking maybe we can reduce that a little bit if we kind of follow the terrain a bit more uh, no apparently not let's get rid of that 885 uh, that might be as good as we can do I've got to say that's that's not too bad I mean we've got it down by almost half uh, maybe if we if you look at this Maybe if we go a little bit further this way to make this, this bridge shorter. Right, so we've got it down to 860. Now, let's have a look. So we're at 1% incline there. That's good. 2% zero. Yeah, I can live with that. Alrighty. Well, that is what we're going to do. We've just got to wait now to get the money so that we can build it. And, and Okay, that didn't take long. So where are we? Uh, boom, let's buy it. Woohoo! We've just completed the next task. We've uh, connected Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Now we only need like, what? We, I think we need like 50,000 to um, to actually get the train hooked up. Okay, that happened quickly. Right, let's get a uh, new train. Well, increases the route length. Woohoo! Uh, we'll set up a line from Pittsburgh to Baltimore. Where are you? Here's Baltimore. Pittsburgh to Baltimore. This is going to be automatic. Boom. Add locomotive. We'll put it to John Paul. Boom. Woohoo. So now, look at this. We're loading all the cloth on. So we're, we're bringing the wool in from the, from the farm. It's being turned One into cloth. Day, the railroad will reach all the way to the west coast. Every day, huge crowds of people set out to cross the entire country. And the trains will continue to get faster. Don't look at me like that. We can't stop progress. So we're bringing in the cloth. The cloth is getting turned into uh, clothing by the tailors. And then that's getting shipped up to New York to be sold in New York. Because they want... Where, uh, if I click on New York. If I can click on New York. Go away. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Let's get that out of the way. And get that out of the way. There we go. Oh, before I forget... Because I would have forgotten otherwise. Uh, we need to put a supply tower somewhere along here. Let's put it up. I don't know. It doesn't matter where it goes, to be honest. Let's put you there. So, if I get rid of this, click on the train and go to the main. Oh, look. He's going to stop and he's probably just going to top up a little. No, he didn't even top up anything. He was like, no, nah, actually, I'm fine. So, why did you stop then, you lemon? Alrighty. <laughs> okay, what, uh, what do we... Oh, we've got a bunch of researchers. We've got 340 to spend on research. Uh, what would we like? Detonator increases reliability of trains by 20%. That's actually a good thing. Um, this increases trains' performance by 10%. That we're getting first. Because that will make our trains faster. And then this one... Uh, increase the reliability. Oh, and this one. This increases the number of passengers in uh, in every city where we've got a station i think we're going to go with the increased reliability keep our trains running 
All right, cool. Now, faster and faster uh, all the time. That yes, has indeed. nothing to do with traveling in style. Yes, go away, Beatrix. Uh, now, uh, there were a few comments, uh, well, a couple of comments on the first video um, saying, oh, this game, uh, this game looks easy and boring, like, where's the challenge and whatever. Just remember, this is just like the tutorials, right? When, once we start actually doing like proper scenarios, I think you'll find things are going to get a lot tougher, like really quickly. Now, we can get a bonus if we hook this up to one of our stations. So, the problem is that we've got Lorenzo over here. Um, now, let's see. Yeah, how, much, how much would it cost me to buy him out? Um, I want to go to here, and I want to go to here. It's going to cost me 477 to buy him out. I'm thinking it's probably worth doing. Now, I, d I think that's what we're going to do. So let's speed this up. How are we doing on the task list? We've got to get um, Baltimore and Toledo hooked up by 1836. So we've actually got five years to get that done. Uh, now... You're moving slowly due to missing equipment. We haven't got a supply tower on this route, have we? Nope. We need a supply tower on this route, so let's supply tower. Let's put a supply tower in there. There we go. Cool. So when he comes back, he'll oh, no. top up. Oh, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. Oh. Did you know that I am Shush. speaking in Washington on behalf of some Indian tribes? They have granted me the title of Haiwa Nob, which means the benevolent one. Really? You think them calling you Haiwa Nob <laughs> means that they like you? I think you might be wrong. Let's have a look at the management. Oh, look, there he is topping up with water. Oh, but he's waiting now because one of our other trains is using the platform. Right, there we go. And now, yeah, here he comes. Look at this. The money's flooding in now. Okay, what I'm going to do... I'm now going to buy out Don Lorenzo. So it's going to cost me 500,000. Yeah, we'll bid for that. Are you going to try and outbid me? Probably not. Uh, so, yes, well do that. Done. You now possess your first block of shares in a competitor. And now I'm going to merge. Hey, are you a bit slow? I have already bid. Excellent. You have defeated a competitor and taken over all their routes and buildings. Baltimore and Ohio merges. Today it was announced that the King of Rails was acquired by B&O. All investors with shares have been uh, generously compensated. Ba, 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 ba. But the main thing is that we oh, have no. taken out it our first like competitor. Your trains has a problem. You'll find yourself in a lovely spot with the fishes. <laughs> he's My he's a little bit bitter. Informed me that you need to urgently clean up your research department. Those secret construction plans are lying all over the place. So uh, our company value has now gone up to five million. Nice. Now what happens is um, all the all the stations and lines that belonged to uh, Don Lorenzo now belong to us. But the thing is, we don't want them because. Um, Lopez Farm. I mean, I mean, we could ship into New York if we if we wanted to. I suppose. Do I want to? Actually, that one I might do. Set up a rail line. Um, yeah, go on. We'll ship into New York. Is this the? This is the cows. Let's just check. Have you got demand for that? Oh we'll, dear. We'll that put seems that in. to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. Yes. Shush. Um, go away. I, I want New York. There we go. What I want to look at, meat industry in Albany. Do we want to buy that industry? Um, you know what? Yeah, we will. We'll buy that meat industry in Albany because that will benefit us. Uh, what I want to look at in New York is, do they actually want cows? No, they don't want cattle. Okay, so there's, there's actually very little point um, shipping the cattle to, day, to New York. Nobody has erected a memorial to our founding father, George Washington. 
I hope that the disputes about it will be over someday, and I'll be the first to make a donation towards it. But now that we've got a meat industry up here, we want um, the cows, being sh cattle being shipped up here. We've got good demand. So what I'm going to do is put in a line. Um, where are we? That low. Where is it? Lopez, New York. That line. We want to change this. Um, you really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. We actually want this uh, to not go to New York. We want this to go all the way to Albany. So we're delivering cows to Albany. And we'll save that. We'll add a locomotive. We'll put on the John Bull. Uh, conductor. Not Blake Hansen. Uh, transportation and mail. That doesn't really help us on this one. So no, we won't put that conductor on there. Old Ironside is a success. Baldwin tests locomotive. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't care about that. Alrighty, so we're we're now sending, hopefully, where are you? Yes, we're now sh shipping cattle all the way up to Albany. That's going to make meat, which we, we can then ship down here. I've got a, <coughs> I've got a tickle in my throat. Let me grab a sip of tea. Oh, that's better. Um, you know what, guys? I think we will leave it there for this episode because there's still quite a long way to go. Um, we have we have kind of cracked the back of it, but we've got to extend out to Toledo. Oh dear, there seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. My we've got to spend some time <sighs> in England. His accounts of how the railroad is used in mining there fascinated me. However, in America, we have considerably greater distances to overcome. A mammoth task. Thank you, Phil. Uh, right, so we've got to connect to uh, Baltimore. We've got to increase Baltimore, uh, increase the size of Baltimore. Uh, and the, the best way to do that is to connect up to some more business, uh, rural businesses. And we've got to increase our share value from um, 6 million to 20 million. So, yeah, there's um, still a bit of a ways to go. But we have taken out our first competitor. So we'll leave it there. And hopefully... I think you'll be coming back to see what happens, won't you? I think you will. And then, uh, and then, yeah. Oh, we've got, oh, we got a bandit we can hire. Oh, there's so many cool things that you can do in this game. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this half. Come back for the second half. I'll catch you for that. Peace out.